Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to determine the formula of an ionic compound using the charges on ions. In the last video we looked at the charges on metal and non-metal ions. In this video we're going to use these charges to work out the formula of ionic compounds. Here's the key rule which you need to learn. In an ionic compound the charges on the ions have to cancel out to leave an overall charge of zero. I'm showing you three ionic compounds here and you can see that all of these have no overall charge. No ionic compounds have an overall charge. So we're going to see how to work out the formula of an ionic compound. Let's start by looking at a simple ionic compound which is sodium chloride. This contains the sodium ion Na plus and the chloride ion Cl minus. Don't forget that you'll be given the charges on any ions that you need in an exam question. So how do we work out the formula of sodium chloride? If we look at the ions, we can see that the sodium ion has a single positive charge and the chloride ion has a single negative charge. This means that one sodium ion can cancel out the charge on one chloride ion. So the formula of sodium chloride is NaCl and here it is. If we had two sodium ions, then the compound would have an overall one plus charge, which I'm showing you here and this is not allowed. Similarly, if we had two chloride ions, then the compound would have an overall one negative charge, and again, that's not allowed. Here's another ionic compound, sodium oxide. Let's work out the formula of this compound. As we've seen, the sodium ion is Na+, the oxide ion is O2-. Remember that the charges have to cancel. Now this means that we need two sodium ions, to cancel out the charge on one oxide ion. So the formula is Na2O. Here's one for you to try. This is magnesium iodide. The magnesium ion has a two plus charge and the iodide ion has a one minus charge. You should pause the video now and work out the formula of magnesium iodide. Okay, in this compound, we need two iodide ions to cancel out the two plus charge on the magnesium ion. So the formula is MgI2. We're going to look at a couple more examples to make sure that you really get this. Here's the next one. This is lithium carbonate. The lithium ion has a charge of 1 plus and the carbonate ion has a charge of 2 minus. Pause the video now and work out the formula of lithium carbonate. Okay, as we said, the lithium ion has a 1 plus charge and the carbonate ion has a 2 minus charge. This means that we need two lithium ions to cancel out the charge on one carbonate ion. So the formula of lithium carbonate is Li2CO3. Okay, the next compound is calcium hydroxide. The calcium ion has a two plus charge and the hydroxide ion has a one minus charge. Pause the video now and work out the formula of this compound. Okay, we need two hydroxide ions to cancel out the charge on one calcium ion. So the formula of calcium hydroxide is CaOH2. Now, there's a problem here. If we place this small 2 directly to the right of the OH, then this means that we have two hydrogen atoms rather than two hydroxide ions. We've got to put brackets around the hydroxide to show that the little 2 multiplies the whole hydroxide by 2. So this is correct, whereas this is wrong. Okay, here's a final example for you to try. This is magnesium nitrate. The magnesium ion has a two plus charge and the nitrate ion has a one minus charge. Pause the video now and work out the formula of magnesium nitrate. Because the magnesium ion has a two plus charge, we need two nitrate ions to cancel this out. However, we cannot simply write a 2 next to the nitrate ion like this. This would now mean that we've got 32 atoms of oxygen, which is clearly wrong. So in this case, again, we need to use brackets like this. Now I should point out that in the exam you'll not see any question any more difficult than the ones I've shown you here. You'll find plenty more questions on ions and working out the formula of ionic compounds in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to determine the formula of an ionic compound using the charges on ions.